Hey everybody, it's episode 5, season 4, 13 Reasons Why. Last time, we were in a spooky forest, and ooh, this camping trip, this, this, this delivered. There's some, there was something going on in those woods that I couldn't quite work out. Things were happening to different people at different times, and some of them were because of the football players and some of them weren't, maybe? Maybe it was the ghost of that kid that died. Ooh, coming back with an axe. It probably wasn't the ghost, but um, I really enjoyed it. A lot of things happened. Winston's getting closer. He's getting further away from Alex, but closer to the truth. And um, Zack saved Alex's life when he fell over the boat. Remember that part? And Clay's mother loves just making him embarrassed and being awkward and just, you know, turning up for the most important weekend of a senior's life. <laughs> She's been keeping an eye, a close eye on Clay this season. The last episode was a bit more hands-on than she's been, but she's she's been around, you know. Um, yeah. And how much crazy was going on last time with Clay? Not too much, actually. He was unconscious for most of it. It's a really nice scene with um, Imagination Monty, where Monty is sort of explaining, you know, what it's like to be Monty. It was a good moment. Oh, and Ghost Bryce was also in the woods. Ooh, spooky. Spooky all around. So I don't know. I don't think we're going to have any spookiness this time. I don't think we're going to have ghosts in the woods. But we might have ghosts somewhere else. So let's check out episode 5. What are we doing this time? Clay's trying to run the craziness out of him. Oh, the symbol was in the last episode on the... In the chasm? Maybe he drew it himself. You know? Lately, it's like I'm watching myself in the movie of my life. It's like I'm removed from reality. It's a bit like me. I watch myself all the time. There's that bridge in the background. And then reality comes crashing back in. Um, what you doing here? I found him on our Navy Pier, just standing there. How did you even find me, anyway? We have a tracking device on you. We told you that we were going to be doing random drug testing on you both. Jesus, you're overreacting. You're up first. Do they have an emergency stash of safe pee? Zach, you helping us out? Lately, even reality isn't making sense. Then he must have switched the samples. Are you serious right now? If, if that's how it's going to be. Then both of you are grounded. Both of us? It was the, the brownies at the, the camp. How did my dad know I was at the pier? Mm. He, he just There's a tracker. He, he couldn't. Your mother knew. Remember where she, you were at the mall? Oh, that, check that. They, they gave both of us these phones for Christmas with a bunch <laughs> of apps already loaded. What if. Tracking up. Saturday night. I mean, I'd rather have you home than at that. What's it called? The find your drink party? Ooh, go to that instead. How do you know there's a party? Air Force intelligence. Parents know everything. Sleep season. well, my love. They're all You're in working together, spy on their kids. You have your first fight this weekend, right? They're fighting? Uh, yes, to both questions. Well, if you still need a cut, man, uh, I'd, I'd really like to do that. Hey, it's yeah. pretty good. Okay. Ooh. It's hard to know what's real and what's like paranoia. Is this real? This, these two? I I don't believe it. Goddamn it, Diego! Wow, that's so cute. And you're so cute. Did you get your snack, dude? Fucking parties off. Beecher's parents found out. How did Beecher's parents find out? What the hell is going on with these parents? Did you hear? Find your drink got cancelled. Who wants to host? You, Charlie. What is a find your drink party anyway? Find your drink before you head off to college. Yeah, you just experiment with different drinks. Tequila, vodka. You puke up everywhere. It probably tracks your GPS too. But th this is crazy, right? But it's not just us. It's why Beecher canceled his party. 
Your folks don't seem like the type to track you. Um, did you see his mom in season one? Rustin into his room. Oh, shit. Do you remember when you and me went to see Monty? Um, we... When? We never went to see Monty. That was your hallucination, remember? We're gonna have to get a GPS spoofer on everyone's phone. Yeah, we'll have to set up a VPN so people can dial in it without the school knowing. How, do they, how are they so technologically gifted? How can you guys be punks and geeks at the same time? Yeah. There aren't genres anymore, Clay. No labels. There aren't. Winston. Everybody does. So, I hear the party's back on. Where? Um, hi. I know your brother a little bit. We met at a couple of Hillcrest parties last year. Cool, you friends with Jess? No. <laughs> well, I'm new, but she hates I'm, me. I'm a huge fan. So I'll see you tomorrow, I hope. He seems nice. Yeah, doesn't he, Jessica? Not. I'm picking you up at eight. And if you make any attempt not to go to this party, I will actually come and pick you up. Yeah. <laughs> it's hot, right? It's not a date. Come in life it's not physically. a date. How am I even friends with you? Um, <laughs> handsome, charming, and... Mm. If we weren't worried about Zach, he'd be... He's great this season. He's just... He's just great. And then there's the secrets you know nothing about that are eventually going to show up and bite you in the ass. Like this person? Shit, the camera's out. Ooh, it's the bridge again. So the latest we hear is the party's called off. No, no, no. I heard chatter <laughs> later in the day. They're looking for another venue. But you know, I got the They're so concerned about what the kids are doing. Welcome to Monet's. Still... Can I direct you to the nearest Starbucks? Dating this... <laughs> Wait, you're Good being luck. a dick to me. <laughs> that is the situation, yeah. You coming tonight? If I am, it'll be in my bedroom. Everybody's coming to this party. I want to go. Although me going would be a bit like Clay's mom going. And now, let's talk about our feelings. I've done some bad shit. I haven't done pot. Tell them about the missing time. Talk about the bad stuff. How you end up in places without realizing? Thank George! <laughs> What's up, man? I'm already mostly drunk. Uh, the game is called Paranoia. Oh shit. Clay's gonna win this one. So it starts like this. <laughs> Jessica. For sure, Jessica. What? What about me? Exactly. Now, if you want oh, to find out what like it. you have to take a shot. Okay, let's hear it. Which girl at this table is most likely to beat me up? <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Well? Who's not as smart as he thinks he is? I think people assume you must have been oh. happy. This isn't the game. Died. Dude. What the fuck? Dude, it's not part of the game. Oh, I get but not drugs. I've never done drugs. Did, yes, you have, with Hannah. Remember, with Hannah? Oh, he's just lying. <laughs> okay. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> well, thanks to you, my parents think I smoke, so why not? It's not like I'm shooting heroin in a fucking alley in Oakland. Jesus. Yes. They know what you are. You're not fooling anyone, Justin. Jesus, Clay. Dude. All the time Justin's been there they for you. They never trusted you. That's why they drug tested you. It's just, he's just, don't listen to him, Justin. Now this one person who Monty, was really Monty, looking forward Monty, to this party because they want, but he cannot be here with us tonight. So instead, we're going to pour one out in his honor. Now. And whoever doesn't drink, kills Bryce Walker. Monty. Monty. Rest in peace, man. Never forget. Right, Jess? Meanwhile, at the fight. Okay, you got the speed. Use it. All right, gentlemen, just come uh, on in. get him on a hook or something. I want a clean fight. <laughs> I don't care who wins. I just care about you. So you get knocked down. Devon Drago. Two rounds. That's all you get. Break it up! Break it up! Now go, go get him. Just imagine he's trying to deport you. Go get him. Hey. Sometimes I wish I had more of the good kinds of secrets. It's a wonderful life. Like a secret friend. Well, you made it. It? Yeah. This is two episodes in a row, these two? Do you want a cookie? Well, these... Special? Special. Special cookies. cookies. Oh. Wow, you and me do not know how to party. <laughs> <laughs> Surprised this room isn't full of drunk people. I need another cookie. I'd give it a minute. Yeah, wait for it to kick in. Okay. Those two friends or more? Or what's going on? Uh, 
<laughs> you play piano? Apparently he does. <laughs> Holy shit, it looks like he's actually playing it. My mom forced lessons on me for like seven years. Yeah, me too. Except it was only a couple. Nice. Do you notice how quiet the party is, by the way? They could easily have a conversation without so... shouting over music. Ooh. I know this one. <laughs> oh, I like this. I like this. Oh, he's gonna hook up with this one. If you whisper one thing in her ear, she will sleep with you tonight. Oh, go on. The magic words. <laughs> oh, smooth talker. I have no idea what he said. <laughs> that works every time. You could just say hello to her and you'd... It's fine, Clay. She's already given you the eyes. It's a done deal. If I go for it, you let me drive the Audi. What? Yeah. How does that work? Sure. Hey, Chloe. Nice to see her again. I bet the actor who plays Zack is just itching to show off his skills. And they were like, okay, you get this episode. <laughs> Hey, I'm, I'm, I'm Clay. Is he gonna say the line? I know who you are. Dad was working like full time to put you behind bars. Oh, your dad? Oh, shit, your dad is the sheriff. A sheriff. Your dad lets you go to parties like this? I do a lot of things my dad doesn't know about. Oh, shit. She said the magic words to you, Clay. Yeah? Yeah? Oh. That's a big hit. Tony's got an uppercut that could put that guy out. Yeah, uppercut. Oh shit, do it soon. Ooh. Hey, are you, are you sure you're okay with this? I mean, we, we don't consent, to... consent, consent, yeah. consent. <laughs> yeah. Careful, Clay. Don't, not too. Are we done? <laughs> Just wait a few minutes. He's oh young. He's young. You... Well, they stuck with it the whole, the whole thing they showed us. Hey, Tony! One. Champ, get up! Hey, Tony! <laughs> oh, he's fighting himself. Get up inside him. Ooh, just... San Diego State, that's amazing. Jesus, this party has everything. They got... Pool table? Piano? Actually, really good. 5,000 rooms? I wanted to say thank you for helping me get to where I am. Hey, no problem. Ooh. I have, I have a boyfriend. Ooh. He's a really great guy. You'd like him. Hopefully, it's nobody. He's outside. If if you want no, to know. I don't want to. I should go. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, it was uh, it was really good seeing you. Yeah, always always good seeing you. Hey, Tony, congratulations. Hey, thanks, Sheriff. The whole department's real proud of you. The whole department. Swing by my office this week. Gonna give me a job. Chat about what's next for you. Aren't you grounded? Ah, uh, folks are out. Oh yeah, they're both grounded, remember? <laughs> they're both at the party. My mom, she's been calling. Justin, shit. And that's why he was out. Staying there. in our old neighborhood again. Yeah, that's why he was there. She just wants money. She doesn't give a fuck about how I'm doing, of course. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna keep trying not to die. Do you think we're ever gonna make it out from under this? Whoa, whoa, whoa. What the fuck is going on here? Just, ch yeah. just chatting. Foldy, are you and me gonna have a problem? Me, hey, we're just chatting. Are we gonna break shit? Definitely. It's not a, not our house, Diego. <laughs> I'm just fucking with you, man. Come on, Jess. I haven't seen you all night. I don't know what Winston's <laughs> told you, but I wouldn't trust him. She's trying to turn people against Winston this episode. First Estelle, now Diego. Oh, meanwhile. So, in addition. <laughs> I'm extremely high right now. Yeah. Got it. Why is this on? Hey, it's, it's already over. Christmas. It's already over. Damn. You are Charlie. I am Charlie. He's Charlie. Charles. Do you think it really is a wonderful life? Sometimes. Sometimes. You don't own me, Aaron. What the fuck, Valerie? Who the fuck are you? I'm her boyfriend, you scrawny little shit. Clay! <laughs> Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Not, not a good look. Come on, Clay! Come on! Hey! What the hell is going on? Clay, don't say anything. 
I will end you. Get out of there. He's not gonna be having sex with this girl anymore. Jensen's fucking crazy. No, he knows we're close. Is it true? That Monty beat the shit out of you at a party? Friends, why the fuck would you lie about that, man? He doesn't know that Monty's gay. He doesn't know if he'll accept that fact. That's why he didn't tell him. Bonnie and I, we hooked up at that party. Bonnie said he wasn't gay. No, it's so. cool. I, if he was, I just didn't know. Okay. Okay. This is a bad idea. I'm not a virgin anymore. You're not a virgin anymore! Eyes on the road. Clay. What the fuck are you doing? What? Where, how did they get to? Something up with Tyler. He ditched me after my match. Fuck these secrets. I don't want them anymore. Ooh. Dude, I know that guy. Who is it? How? He deals guns. He... It's a sting operation, right? That's why he's working with Alex's dad? I am a... Remember when, in season one, Clay was allergic to speed? Not anymore. Slow down. We're okay. We're okay. We're not okay. We're fucking dead. <laughs> this show. <laughs> Are Zack and Clay dead? I doubt it. Could one of them die before the end of the season? Somebody's dead in the coffin. I, I really hope that they're not going to kill Clay off. They could kill Zack off. They give him this wonderful episode, give him closure with Chloe. He shows off his piano skills. He tells Clay the secret words to whisper to a girl. He's been having problems all season, but those problems didn't factor into anything. So that's the reason you wouldn't kill him off right now, but... Do you see the way the f car flipped over? Jeez. It's not going to be um, pretty. They're not going to walk away from it. Such a bad idea. Especially after he beat the hell out of that guy at the party. Don't hand him the keys. You know? Zach should have said, you know, yeah, okay, you can drive it tomorrow when we're both sober or a week from now when you're not hungover just not straight after the party remember Jeff I don't approve of that where did where did Justin how did Justin and Tony end up in the same place at the end did I miss some intervening scene where they they suddenly happened to be that was weird wasn't it they're stalking Tyler. At least Tony, Tony, Tony stalking Tyler. Justin just kind of stumbled in there. Ooh. Just gonna check one thing. Where do I know that girl from? Supernatural? Is she in Supernatural? Kaya, she was Kaya in Supernatural, of course. <sighs> so, the only thing I didn't understand about that episode is whose house it was. Couldn't, it, it must have been mentioned earlier. Like it was going to be at the Beecher's place, right? But I think I had to move somewhere. Or maybe they just had it there anyway. I don't know which of the, I don't know if it's someone we know's house. Um, it doesn't matter whose house it was, but it's a massive, massive, huge house. Everybody was, it was very tame party. Everybody behaving themselves mostly. Um, <laughs> kind of a rich kid's party, if you, if you know what I mean. Um, nobody throwing drink on the floor or, you know, doing anything crazy. But... A lot of things got said. Justin and Jessica had a lot of scenes together this episode. 
Diego and Winston finally had a chat. Winston finally told Diego about Monty. Estella is in the episode. She's she's more in this episode than she has been in previous ones. I wonder what how much she'll factor into things at the end. And will there be an end? Maybe the show's over now. Clay's just gone. He didn't hallucinate driving that car. He could have. Whew. That's the sort of car wreck that kills people. Just what we saw at the end there. But let's hope they both survive. I don't want either of those to die. I don't want anybody, anybody to die. But not those two. And Alex and Charlie had an episode together. Last episode, Charlie comes to Alex and says, basically gives him a pep, pep talk about what a great guy he is. And then they hang out in this one. Good friendship. Chloe appears. Always good to see her. Which is funny because <laughs> season two Chloe was awful. For the first 70%. Um... But I, I'm always happy to see her now. She got a new boyfriend, but we don't care about him. We don't even want to see him. And Zach playing that piano? God damn it. And the the friggin' tiny dancer Tony Danza. Speaking of Tony Danza. Gotta see a fight. Tony working out his issues. He sees himself and the, the other guys. Visage. And it's weird, it's like the, the cop from the school who was bullying him became his coach. <laughs> and now the sheriff wants him to work for the force. Funny how things work out in life, isn't it? Um, that's where they're going with that storyline, for sure. Tighter, tighter, tighter. It's not what it looks like. You know? Um... I'm not worried about Tyler. I am worried about Zach and Clay now, because they're in that car. I was worried about Zach beforehand. Ooh. Um Yeah, it reminded me very much of that scene in season one where Alex is at the wheel when they're bringing Clay into the car to to freak him out. Remember that? And then Alex just keeps always oh, oh, speeding. His dad pulls him over. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Anyway, nothing happened in that episode. Everybody's just fine. There's no, no issues with anybody. Um... Very few hallucinations in this episode. Interesting that the parents knew everything. <laughs> Obviously tracking them in some way. We got to see a bit of Cyrus and his gang. And they... They're just... We knew Cyrus had some skills technologically, but they all do. It's their thing now. If we ever need help in future, we know who to go to. Yeah, and I'm just looking forward to the rest of the season. Five episodes left. I'm going to take a little peek at the next episode title. What was this one called? House Party. Next one's called Thursday. That helps. Doesn't say uh, hospital or <laughs> graveyard. So that's something. Does say Thursday, whatever that means. So tune in next week to see if anybody actually died in that car wreck. Maybe they, they could have run over somebody for all we know. And is Clay going to get better by the end of the season? You know? It's not getting better. Every episode, it's just... He's not healing. He's not working through it. But... But we had them singing at the piano. That was the highlight. So funny. See you next time. <laughs>